Hello everyone, my name is Will Valida. I'm a software engineer and Microsoft Data Platform MVP. And in this video, we're gonna take our existing Azure Cosmos DB account and send diagnostic logs to Log Analytics using Terraform. Diagnostic settings in Azure are used to collect logs about resources. Azure resource logs are admitted by resources that produce data about the operations of those resources. These are captured per request. The content of these logs will vary by resource type. Activity logs and platform metrics are collected automatically, but to collect resource logs, we have to create diagnostic settings. We can create these diagnostic se settings and send them to log analytics, event hubs, or storage accounts. Cosmos DB has a variety of log categories that we can monitor. Some of these are available across all APIs, such as data plane requests that capture requests that are executed to create, update, delete, or retrieve our data. Others are more API specific, such as query runtime statistics, which detail query operations that are executed against a SQL API account. For more detail on these log categories, I've check out the article that I've posted in the description. Now in our demo, we will create our diagnostic logs for our Cosmos DB account and send them to Log Analytics. I already have a log, at log analytics workspace created. So in order to send my diagnostic logs, I'm going to be using a Terraform data source. Data sources allow Terraform to use information to find outside of Terraform or defined by another Terraform configuration. Providers in Terraform may offer data sources alongside its own set of resource types. A data block in Terraform will read from a given source and export the results under the given local name. We will then use the local name to reference the resource in the same Terraform module. So in this demo, we're going to use a data source in our Cosmos DB Terraform file to import our log analytics workspace. We'll then create our diagnostic logs in Cosmos DB that will be configured to be sent to our log analytics workspace. We'll then deploy our changes to Azure. So here I am in the Azure portal. And as you can see, we can actually set up our diagnostic settings uh, in our Azure Cosmos DB account right here in the portal. So we can decide what metrics we're going to send and where we're going to send them to. Now we're gonna do this in Terraform. But as you can see here, we can send it to our diagnostic settings to log analytics. We can send it to a storage account. We can stream our logs to event hub, or we can send it to a partner solution. But for this demo, we're gonna send it to log analytics using our Terraform code. Let's have a look at the Terraform docs to see how we can create our diagnostic logs. So in this example here, we can see that our diagnostic settings has a name and it has a target resource ID. And looking further down at the argument references here, we can see that these fields are required. Looking a little bit further down, we see that we can also provide our diagnostic settings with a log analytics workspace ID, which specifies the ID of a log analytics workspace where the diagnostic data should be sent. Now, if we jump into the Terraform docs for log analytics, we can see by looking at the attributes reference here that we can retrieve the ID of this workspace when we import it into our Terraform file. So in order to make this work, we're going to use a data module to reference our log analytics workspace and get and retrieve the ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Visual Studio Code. And just at the top of my file, just before I even declare my Azure Cosmos DB resource. I'm going to create my data module here. Use the Azure RM log analytics workspace. Give that a name of log analytics. And in here, I'm just going to give it a name, which will be the name of my log analytics workspace and then the resource group name, which is where my resource group, which will be the resource group where my log analytics workspace has been provisioned. I'll just use variables for this. Not being very consistent with my variables. That's okay for this. Make this type equal 
equal to string and I'll get the default value a little bit later. Cool. Now what I'll do is just head into my Azure portal. I'll actually search for my log analytics workspace. So this will be the name of my log analytics workspace. Go back into my variable file, stick it in there. And I'll just get the resource group as well. Stick it in there. So now that we have our log analytics workspace um, imported into our Terraform, well, referenced in our Terraform file um, as this data module, we can actually go ahead and start to create our diagnostic settings. So create a resource block of Azure RM monitor. diagnostic settings. I'm just going to give this a name of Cosmos DB Diagnostics. Cool. And I'm going to give this a name. I'll use a variable for this. Just say Cosmos log name or settings. Settings name. That's better. Uh, we need to actually target it, target this towards our Cosmos DB account. So I'm going to use my Cosmos DB account that I defined earlier and use the ID. See, I need to use the target resource ID. So I'll use the resource ID of my Cosmos DB account. And then I'm going to use my log analytics workspace. Let autocomplete do it for me. So for my log analytics workspace ID, I'm using the data module of the Azure Log Analytics workspace that I've imported into my Terraform file, and I'm using the resource ID as the Log Analytics workspace ID. So now I'm in a position to create my logs that I'm gonna send to my Log Analytics workspace. So in order to start creating our logs, I'm just gonna go back into the Terraform documentation. And as you can see, we've got this uh, sub um, block of code here for log. So if I go down a little bit, so we can provide one or more log blocks as defined below. So we scroll down a little bit. So we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need to provide a category, which is the name of the diagnostic log category for this resource. And again, this will depend on the resource um, that, you're, um, that you're using in your Terraform file. So we'll look at the Cosmos DB documentation to see how uh, which logs we need to send to log analytics. We can also set up retention policies and whether this is enabled or not. Now we're going to be enabling our logs, so we're going to set it to true. Um, so we can actually send logs to our log analytics workspace. This retention policy is really good if you're sending your logs to a storage account, but we're not going to be doing that. So we'll just leave that one out for now. So if I bring up the Cosmos DB documentation on diagnostic logs, Let's choose the log categories that we're going to be sending to log analytics. Now, remember, depending on which API you've enabled for your Cosmos DB account, um, some uh, uh, log categories will be specific to particular APIs. And we've created a SQL API account. So for this demo, I'm going to send uh, data plane logs, going to do uh, query runtime statistics, petition key statistics, Petition key are you consumption statistics and control plane requests. So what I'm going to do is just go back into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and just copy and paste something I've done earlier. Sweet. So now that what we've done here is we've just essentially copy and pasted all of these log categories and we're enabling them. So when we actually provision this, we'll be enabling these um, log categories to be sent to our log analytics workspace. So that should be everything that we need to send our logs to our log analytics workspace. Let me just check I've got that Cosmos DB log settings name. 
I don't, so I'll just create my variable for that. Make this a type of string. I'm going to give it a default setting of Cosmos log settings. There we go. So now we have everything that we need to um, send our logs to log analytics. Let's start to deploy this. So what I'm going to do is just open up a new terminal. And I'm going to run terraform init to initialize my terraform configuration, initialize my backend, initialize the provider plugins. Cool, so that's been successfully initialized. I'm now going to validate my Terraform code, running Terraform validate. Looks like everything is valid. So now I'm going to plan my execution by running Terraform plan. So this will generate my execution plan and show me what's going to be deployed. Cool, so we've got three um, resources that are going to be added. So we can see our log categories, our diagnostics are going to be created. And I've deleted my database and container from the previous one. Um, but since I haven't removed it, I deleted it manually, but since I didn't remove it from our Terraform file, it's going to create it again. But that's okay. We don't mind that. The thing that we're looking out for here, so our log analytics workspace ID. So there's the log analytics workspace that I've created before. So that's what it's going to send our diagnostic settings to. We've given it our name. And also there's our Cosmos DB account as our target resource ID. And here are the logs that I'm going to send or configure um, to send from Cosmos DB to my log analytics workspace. So that looks all good. So now we just need to apply our configuration. And this will generate our plan again. And to confirm our plan, all we need to do is type yes. Once it's generated the plan again, it's always good idea, always a good idea just to verify just before you type in yes. You don't want to deploy something that you don't mean to, or even remove or change something you don't mean to. But for this, we'll just enter yes and let it apply. Cool. So through the power of video editing, we can see that happened really, really quickly, and our resources have been successfully applied. So if I go into my Cosmos DB account, I scroll on down to diagnostic settings. I can see that my Cosmos log settings has been created. So if I just click edit, I should see all of the logs that I enabled in my Terraform file are being sent to my log analytics workspace. So I just remove my terminal. So as you can see, in just a few lines of code, we've actually enabled logging on our Cosmos DB account and sending those logs to Log Analytics Workspace using a data source without having, using a data source instead of actually having to define or create a Log Analytics Workspace within the same Terraform file. That's the power of the data source um, module here. We can actually refer to other bits of infrastructure um, that haven't been necessarily created in Terraform or it's been created in another Terraform configuration, we can actually reference those resources that have already been created in other Terraform files, such as this one, which I think is really, really powerful. Cool, so that's the end of the demo. Let's recap. So to recap, in this video, we learned what diagnostic logs are and what kind of logs we can generate from Azure Cosmos DB. We then learnt what data sources are in Terraform and how we can use them to import resources that haven't been defined in our Terraform configuration files. And finally, we learnt how we can send diagnostic logs from Azure Cosmos DB to Log Analytics using Terraform. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
If you like this video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more content coming in the future. I have a bit more time on my hands these days and I'm trying to generate more video content. So if you have any suggestions or topics that you'd like to see me cover, also, yeah, just let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.